My name is Barton Morris. I am a lawyer with the Law Office of Barton Morris. You can get more information about our practice at michigancriminalattorney.com or our YouTube page or our Facebook page. This video is about why you shouldn't let a police officer search your car or your home. Uh, it is often when police officers feel they have a hunch about whether they want, they think some like contraband or they think something unlawful is going on. And so they will simply ask an individual, can I search you, can I search your home, can I search your vehicle? Uh, uh, first of all, uh, it should be understood that if a police officer or a law enforcement official is asking to search or asking for consent, uh, that means they don't have a right to search. And that means that there is no probable cause to, to search the vehicle or there's no uh, reason for which that they would be able to get a warrant because they would simply just do that uh, instead of uh, asking uh, for consent. Uh, it's important to understand that any person has the ability to restrict or not give consent uh, at all. So uh, a person can restrict consent and say, I will only permit uh, a search of a small area or of a, of a certain circumstance, uh, or they can completely deny consent. So if a police officer is asking for consent, there are a lot of rights that are contained that are, that are held by, by the person. They have a, a right not to do it or a right to, to only limit that uh, search to whatever manner that they wish. And they can also revoke consent at any time. If for whatever reason, uh, somebody were to give consent for a, uh, a search of a home or a car, they can stop that consent at any given time. They can say, I no longer consent to it, and the officer, the law enforcement officer, has to cease uh, their search, unless, of course, some contraband or something unlawful uh, is found that gives them the probable cause to search. And so, but my goal here is to advise everyone that the search shouldn't take place in the first place. I recognize that law enforcement can uh, be intimidating and they can certainly even make words and, and, and make comments that will sound threatening. But the intent of this video is to assure you that everybody has the right not to permit a search just because an officer uh, asks for one uh, does it, it's not something that should be done and I'm gonna give you a couple reasons why. First of all, the first reason is it is our constitutional right to be free from any, any unlawful search and seizure. Uh, if a police officer, I don't care if I have nothing to hide, if a police officer were to ask to search my vehicle simply because they had a hunch or they, they just had some uh, unarticulable suspicion, uh, the answer is always no. Uh, because that's my right. And, and I don't give up my, my personal constitutional rights uh, simply because a police officer has a suspicion or has a hunch. Uh, you know, it's a, that's simply my right and, and every person, and, and there's no explanation necessary. So parents, show this video to your children because children are, are oftentimes ones that are most easily intimidated. And, and it is, it is, they need to understand that it is their right to be free from uh, any type of search in that fashion, and that is just gonna eliminate a lot of headaches uh, in the long run. So uh, parents, adult, uh, children, they really need to understand that they have the right to say no, and, and, that it, and no other explanation is necessary. I don't have to require, I don't have to have a reason why I'm saying no. That is my constitutional right, Fourth Amendment constitutional right. But there's other uh, reasons why you may not want to uh, permit a search. Uh, the second reason I would say is that there may be some contraband in your vehicle that you didn't know about, your vehicle or your home, because this can happen. Uh, and, and this has been uh, something that I've dealt with in my 20 years of practice, where somebody permits a search of their vehicle, let's say, and somebody else has left something in the vehicle that they didn't know about, or a passenger has um, uh, taken something from their pocket and put it somewhere in the vehicle that the, the driver perhaps didn't know about. Um, there's no reason to, to, to even permit the search in the first place because even if you feel as though that you've done nothing wrong and you feel as though that there's nothing in the car to hide, again, it's your right to say no, and two, there may be something in there that you don't know about, and then it would put you through a significant headache having to be forced through litigation trying to defend yourself against something that you may not have done. Another reason why you will not want to 
consent to a search is because it's significantly inconvenient. It's the moment that you agree to a search of your motor vehicle, for instance, as an example, first of all, that police officer is gonna take you out of the vehicle and secure you because he can't watch you and search the vehicle at the same time. So then you'll be stuck in the back of a police car where you're significantly uncomfortable and cramped, and then you'll be watching through the back of the police car, police officers go through your vehicle as if that it was like a full blown out search. They're not just gonna be looking around looking for something. When they get the opportunity to search, they will search every little nook and cranny. And it's significantly inconvenient, it's intrusive, and it's gonna be something that you're gonna regret. Even if there's nothing to hide, it's still a very inconvenient circumstance. And so it's another reason why uh, you just shouldn't permit a search of your home and of your vehicle. The last reason that I would like to uh, point out is that you can get somebody else in trouble uh, unintentionally. Now, it, it can happen, I've seen it happen many times where a parent will permit the police to come in. Of course, you wanna be cooperative with the police and I don't want to offend any police officers. I love law enforcement officers and I love the job that they do. I, I mean, without law enforcement, a lot of people would, I mean, we would just be unprotected. We have to have law enforcement. but. Uh, that doesn't mean that we should just invite them into our home and let them walk around the house because I've seen that happen and, and sometimes what happens is, is that uh, a, another family member, a, a child for instance, uh, will have stuff in their home that they're not supposed to have and then the police are, are finding things that you didn't know were there and now that loved one is getting in trouble or that child is getting in trouble and that is not and, and, and you feel as though that it's your it's your fault because you let them in and, and let them search and so i've seen that happen it is not a, a good scenario uh the the best advice is if they if they have probable cause to get a search warrant let them get the search warrant consent searches are generally a bad idea Sorry, law enforcement, I appreciate that that's not necessarily the, the information and advice that you'd like for me to say, but that's my opinion. I am an expert, and uh, that's my advice to you. Thanks for watching.